How's it going today? Jordan Trask here, and we're two weeks away from Christmas. I don't know if you actually knew that, but I'm on day nine of the 25 days of Christmas, and today I drew painting lessons for my marketing strategy. So basically what I'm doing is every single day up until Christmas, I'm choosing a random industry or random business category, and I'm coming up with a random campaign or holiday strategy for them to not just drive awareness and drive sales you know during the holiday season um, but to start to sustain the business build kind of those evergreen customers that loyalty uh, and start creating messaging right that can translate to the rest of the year um, that can uh, help a business really focus more on consistency right and value and their uh, inevitably their brand identity um, Every single thing that you do, that's why I say be purposeful with everything you do, should derive from an identity, personality, origin, of uh, some sort of uh, root characteristic for your business. And uh, there's a reason why you do that. And if you work with me, you can find out. But anyways, I'm getting off topic as always. I wanna keep it short today. And the holiday strategy for painting lessons. I think initially you think of the, the board and brush, those little places that you go into, maybe a rented space, maybe somebody's house where they teach you how to paint something and you pay them 30, 40 bucks, you have a good time with your with your friends. Um, it's typically like a ladies night thing, maybe have some wine or whatever. That's initially what I'm thinking. Um, and it's really ironic because it's, it's something that I'm actually uh, considering, something I'm considering doing in the future, just more of the creative nights. What pre-focus initially was is a creative center that it's not just for business and consulting and, and being able to create stuff, but also for your business, but also to be able to have workshops, be able to have family events and stuff like that. And so it's something I've really researched a lot. And I think that when it comes down to something like this, um, it's another one of those clients where unless you're having 50, 60 people come and sign up for a class, you're not really making buku dollars, right? You're not making a thousand dollars a pop. And so what I want to think is how, how do you get to that point? You know, maybe you're making a hundred, a hundred, two hundred dollars, uh, each class after expenses and all that stuff and your time that you put into it on the front end and back end cleaning up. Um, but that's not like, you're not gonna make a lot of money. Uh, you know, so you get 20 ladies, $40 a pop, right? 20 ladies, $40 a pop? Is that like 800 bucks? Yeah, it is, $800. So if you have canvases, you have paints, you have other supplies and stuff, maybe maybe you could make you know around $600 a class if you're able to get 20, 20 ladies. Uh, and so what I'm thinking of is for a holiday, my, my point is uh, for a holiday campaign, you don't want to spend a lot of money. You don't want to break the bank because, you know, number one, it can be risky. You know, a lot of people may not bite uh, and it's something that you want to try. Maybe some things that you want to try initially, um, but it's the holiday season. So, you know, start of the new year, you don't want to start the, the new year off in a hole. So if you go really big on something and it kind of fizzles and you don't really have uh, any evidence or anything to review to know that it's it's going to be fruitful um, then especially for painting classes people kind of know they kind of know they want to do that they don't really need somebody to market to them they just really need somebody to tell tell them who to call right so sorry about that um, so I'm thinking of just a really simple campaign keep costs low build awareness maybe something that's outside the box creative but also you know if I'm thinking of um, taking painting lessons you know what do I want to learn you know so I'm not just going there to have fun. I want to actually learn something, you know, be able to take something away. It's, that's the value and apply it. And for me, I'm actually an artist myself. That's why I was mentioning before I've thought about this idea of, of kind of taking it up a notch to have a couple ideas. But um, I think the hardest thing to draw besides just knowing, you know, like the coordination of drawing itself is difficult from brain to, to fingers. And then the patience, right? Those would be... Th uh, two things I think you know initially probably want some training on or at least some understanding on but for me and I would assume that faces faces are really difficult to draw not only do you have the symmetry of the eyes and the nose and being able to do that um, the same right as the other side the ears and everything um, but the placement itself so I mean if you've ever tried to draw a face or paint a face it is even harder just moving the nose down, you know, just a little bit will make the whole face, the whole person look so much different, even if it's just not the right shape here at the base of just the nose, right? Then you have the eyes underneath the eyes and all this stuff. So I'm thinking if I'm learning to draw faces, you know, how do you ease somebody into that? Um, 
it's probably drawing a face that's completely exposed, no hat, right? If I didn't have a hat on, I didn't have any facial hair, if, you know, it would be a lot, I'm just really smooth. My, I had a nice hairdo and stuff, like that would be really hard to do. So getting somebody on a hat, so you may be having the eyes, the nose, and then a beard I think would be smart. So who, who do we know that wears a hat and has a beard, you know, during, that's popular during the holidays, Santa. So I think it'd be cool to do a workshop, a Santa painting lesson to teach people how to do a face. You start with the eyes and nose. You're really focusing on that um, element of painting or drawing and the difficulty of it. And you're, you're, when you focus on something and you don't go too big, you're able to actually teach a lot better, you know, baby steps. Um, and so that would be really cool to be able to do something simple, have a class. Um, and then what I think would be really cool is, is you offer this class, um, you know, see if people bite. I don't think you really give a discount. I think you just push it that this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna paint this and the focus is teaching you how to draw facial features. And then in uh, January, February, we're gonna have another class that's gonna do for the, for the rest of the face, right? We're gonna teach you the rest of the face, the lips, the chin, uh, maybe hair, shadows, ears, stuff like that, that help you really round out the face, facial region. And maybe you could do a class where somebody has sunglasses and you know, like Jack Frost or something have them wear some sunglasses a really cool follow-up campaign um, but I think it will be really, really cool is to go really big for like one or two classes have a secondary project maybe something that's a little bit more difficult or maybe you do the rest of the face or maybe you do some woodworking or paint something that's that's a gift right you could have something that people come in and they make and you know color or paint it to, to give for a gift or put in a stocking stuffer or maybe put on display in their home maybe a picture frame right so Something that's Christmas theme, maybe, you know, gingerbread house, you know, something like that where my family does it every year, uh, tradition where we, we do a competition for gingerbread houses. So maybe you have that laid out and you have a second phase of the workshop. And then in between there, maybe you have dinner, I have a catering service come in or wine tasting, like I said before, maybe some desserts. Maybe people can go to dinner before that and then they come after dinner. That probably wouldn't be smart because then they'll be sleepy. But it would be wise, yeah, to have dinner there or maybe have a dessert or a, a wine tasting and then the second class for the woodworking or whatever the case may be and then dinner or maybe a date night and so you're able to take your space that you have whether it's a commercial office building or your home like my house is really nicely set up the back sunroom so you would have really nice tables set up uh, you know a back room or a storage room where you're able to have boards that you can kind of transition the lesson and then a kitchen obviously or a catering service like i said before we're able to kind of have that stuff prepared or in a fridge or something be so simple and and instead of having somebody pay you know 30 40 50 bucks to come do this class and you maybe make your 600 dollars, which is more than i actually thought before i'm sitting here like man wow that is 40 times 20 40 times 30 1200 dollars you know uh you can have it's you can literally have an event so you do an hour painting santa you do a little intermission with some wine tasting some desserts uh you know a little social hour right where we're switching things out letting the paint dry you know hanging this stuff up a 30 minutes for uh, 45 minute session and then an hour after that you have the second session and you're literally charging uh, I would say, you know, something for like that, especially if you're throwing in dinner or even wine, it's expensive. You could do something for $150, maybe a couple, and that that could be a good deal. Uh, so maybe even push something $180 a couple, and you're thinking dinner, entertainment, uh, gift, and uh, a memento that you're able to take with you, right? Uh, souvenir, two souvenirs. So, you know, $180, you really think about it, break that down. You know, me and my wife go to have some nice dinner. It's going to cost 50, 60 bucks. You know, I go buy a toy or make something or go paint a picture. It's going to cost about 30 bucks. You know, I go get something that's a little bit more high end of a toy or product or painting. Then it's, you know, it's going to be around 40, 50 bucks. So you add those together plus the experience, plus the wine or the desserts on top of the dinner. You know, it's 180, 160 bucks is probably a nice price point. And you get 20 couples, you have the space to do it. You know, bada boom, bada bing. Uh, <laughs> kind of stupid. But you know, you're talking four or $5,000 in one sitting to have a really cool event. Plus you have all the other events that you can schedule out throughout the rest of the week that you could end up having. Say you have a two week, uh, you know, segment that uh, of the month that you're running this uh, 
campaign, I guess, or this this lesson, uh, and you're able to book every single night of the week, six nights a week, you're able to make just say six hundred dollars, and in that Saturday or Friday night, you do the one thing, you do it for two weeks, you do two major events, you know, four or five grand, it's ten grand. We'll say eight to be safe, um, and then the rest of the you know nights of the week, you're making to say five five hundred dollars a night, six nights is three grand. So, you know, we're talking about, you know, 15, 20 grand in just two weeks uh, painting, guys. If you're able to book that stuff, obviously that's, you know, that's where the, the curveball is, is how do you get build the awareness? How do you build the momentum? How do you get people to come in? Well, you talk about the experience, you do videos like this, you talk about why you're doing it, you talk about how you're doing it, you talk about how excited you are about it, you talk about, uh, you have your, your clients or the potential, or your current customers that have been in before you have them promote it you email them you have all that stuff that's why you have a good crm you give them a call you let them know i mean you you show some pride and passion about this event that you want to do because it can be big 15 20 thousand dollars before christmas in two weeks i mean come on like who who wouldn't want to do that i'm, I'm actually starting to, to sit here and think i might want to change careers um but painting lessons holiday strategy do something creative, do something relevant, do something that teaches somebody something, because it's a lesson, right? And do something that people can take with them and do it at their pace, right? Show them that you care, show them that you want them to learn, and then do a follow-up class, follow-up classes that help them learn the rest, right? Wow, this is amazing. Merry Christmas. Be purposeful with everything you do, guys. And always remember to pre-focus.